According to the 7 Days to Die Alpha 20 patch notes, crossbows and bows have been buffed. Now you might expect a one line reference to buffing weapons may mean that the buff was relatively minor. It was not. If you learn anything new in today's video, be sure to leave a like and consider hitting that bell to see me break down some more of Alpha 20's new mechanics in depth. Anyway, let's take a look at just how much they buffed bows and crossbows. Spoiler alert, it was a lot. First, we need to discern what was changed in the bows. Now, if you play Alpha 20 for about 47 seconds, you'll quite clearly see that they do more damage. But if we go into the game files for Alpha 19 and compare them to Alpha 20, we can see just how much more damage the bows do. For the most part, damage from bows comes almost entirely from the arrows you load into it. For future reference, we'll call this arrow damage. The bow has a value which affects the overall damage. This is called its damage offset. If you want to find the damage of a bow, you take that damage offset and you add it to the arrow damage. Then you would multiply that by the level bonus of the weapon. To keep this simple, basically each level above level 1 will give you 10% more damage. So a level 6 does 50% more damage than a level 1. Now that we know how bow damage is calculated, we should compare the game files of Alpha 19 and Alpha 20 to see what has changed in the formula to calculate how much more damage is being done. Let's first take a look then at arrows and crossbow bolts. In Alpha 19, the stone arrow did 25 damage, but in Alpha 20, it now does 35 damage. That is a 40% increase, which is pretty substantial. Alpha 19's iron arrows did 28 damage, and in Alpha 20, they now do 38 damage. Damage. Now, iron arrows also have 20% armor penetration. This means that the iron arrows in Alpha 20 not only do 35.7% more damage, but they also ignore 20% of a target's armor now. In Alpha 19, steel arrows did 31 damage with 20% armor penetration, but that has been changed to 42 damage with a massive 50% armor penetration. This is a 35.5% increase in arrow damage and a 30% increase to the armor penetration. Flaming arrows and bolts were completely unchanged by Alpha 20, not only in impact damage but also in fire damage, which means that flaming arrows and bolts, which were already fairly bad, are now utterly worthless compared to the buffed versions of the standard bows. Exploding arrows, however, have been buffed. In Alpha 19, exploding arrows were displayed as doing 180 damage, but in the game files, we can actually see they only did 90. Now in Alpha 20, this display value is correct, and exploding arrows will now do the full 180 damage, which is a 100% increase. So clearly, the arrows have been given some very substantial buffs between 35 and 40% for most of them. This buff is so extreme that Alpha 20's stone arrows now have a higher base damage than Alpha 19's steel arrows. That is a huge increase in damage. Now, let's check out the bolts. Stone bolts have gone from 32 damage all the way up to 50 damage. This is a 56.25% increase in damage. Iron bolts have gone from 38 damage up to 59 with 20% armor penetration. This is again a 55.25% increase in damage. Steel bolts have gone from 45 damage with 20% armor penetration up to 59 damage with 50% armor penetration. This is a 40% increase in damage. Flaming bolts were unchanged as I mentioned earlier and they are pretty bad, and exploding bolts were also misleading doing half as much damage as they said, formerly doing 125 damage but listed as 250. This has been fixed with exploding arrows displaying 250 damage and doing 250 damage. So that means again that stone bolts in Alpha 20 are stronger than steel bolts in Alpha 19 and that the bolt buffs vary between 40 and 55% more damage. Many of 7 Days to Die's bows and crossbows have been given and damage offset changes which make them substantially more powerful as well. I'm going to combine the new offsets with this next section which is where I'm going to actually calculate the effective damage increase of the bow and crossbows. Now I'd be here all day if I did absolutely every bow at every level with every arrow so I'm going to be showing how the worst bow and crossbow have been improved and how the best bow and crossbow have been improved as that's all I really need to show you guys just how strong the bows and crossbows are now. Let's start with the worst possible bow you can get. The primitive bow at level 1 loaded with stone arrows. 
Now Alpha 20 didn't actually change the damage offset for the primitive bow, which is negative 6. So to calculate the damages we want to take Alpha 19's 25 damage arrows and subtract 6. This gives us 19 damage for a level 1 primitive bow. Alpha 20's 35 damage stone arrows minus 6 gives 29 damage for the primitive bow. So just off the bat with no perks, no increase in costs, nothing whatsoever, the exact same bow at the very start of the game built during the tutorial is doing 52.63% more damage in Alpha 20 than it did in Alpha 19. This is absolutely huge and strangely not actually the biggest buff in this video, just you wait. Let's head back to the damage comparisons with Alpha 20's Gold Star Most Improved Employee of the Month, the Iron Crossbow. The level 1 Iron Crossbow with Stone Bolts is the worst crossbow available. In Alpha 19, the Iron Crossbow had a damage offset of negative 6, but in Alpha 20 it has been changed to 0. 0 is better than negative 6 for this context by the way. So in Alpha 19 with Stone Arrows, the Iron Crossbow did 32 minus 6, which is 26 damage. In Alpha 20, it does 50 plus 0 damage, so 50 damage. That is a 92.3% buff. Just in case you didn't quite hear me there, the Iron Crossbow, at its worst, has been made 92.3% stronger. For a reference of just how strong that is, a level 1 Iron Crossbow with Stone Bolts now does more damage than a level 6 Compound Bow with Steel Arrows in Alpha 19 did as that was only 46 damage. Now at this point I do need to explain variable statistics. Non-primitive weapons in 7 Days to Die have variable statistics, meaning you could find two level 1 crossbows that have slightly different damages. This allows a statistic to be up to 15% lower or higher than the base value, so the actual damage of a level 1 iron crossbow with stone bolts could be anywhere from 15% lower than what I said and 15% more than what I said. For my calculations though, I'm essentially assuming that the weapon has simply rolled a plus 0% damage to keep it nice and simple but I thought I'd let you guys know about variable statistics just in case you went into your game and maybe rolled a negative 15% on your iron crossbow and thought I was trying to trick you here. So just keep that in mind that I am working by essentially ignoring the variable statistics because the chance of it being slightly worse is exactly the same chance as it being slightly better and the stat difference is fairly minimal anyway. So, the worst bow received a 52% buff to its damage, and the worst crossbow received a 92% buff. What about the best bow and crossbow? Let's check the level 6 compound bow with steel arrows for the best bow then. The compound bow in Alpha 19 had a damage offset of 0. The compound bow in Alpha 20 now has a damage offset of plus 9.15. So we are adding that to the damage of the steel arrow. But to figure out the level 6 damage, we have to figure out the level 1 damage and increase it by 50%. Let's speed this up a bit because I think you're all kind of getting the formula by now. For the level 1 compound bow with steel arrows in Alpha 19, it did 31 damage, plus or minus up to 15%, and in Alpha 20, it does 51.15. Again, up to plus or minus 15%. This is a 65% buff. So now we know that, we can move on to the level 6s. In Alpha 19, the level 6 compound bow with steel arrows did 46.5 damage. Again, plus or minus up to 15%. In Alpha 20, the same bow does 76.7 damage. And I'm going to stop mentioning the variable statistics here. Just remember that all of the damage values I'm saying here are plus or minus up to 15%. Anyway, this is approximately a 64.38% damage increase from Alpha 19 to 20. So let's move on to the compound crossbow. The compound crossbow had no damage offset in Alpha 19 and now it has a damage offset of 13.5 so we're going to be adding that to the bolt damage here. I'm going to skip straight to the level 6s because I think you're kind of getting it now. A level 6 compound crossbow with steel bolts did 67.5 damage in Alpha 19 and in Alpha 20 the same crossbow will do 114.75 damage. That is a 70% increase. Let's just summarize all that really quickly. The worst bow in the game does 50% more damage than it used to, the worst crossbow in the game does 90% more damage than it used to, the best bow in the game does 65% more damage, and the best 
crossbow in the game does 70% more damage than in Alpha 19. So basically what I'm saying here is archery is much more viable in Alpha 20 than in Alpha 19. So much so that I am now an agility main, which is welcome because I am absolutely sick of strength builds and I'm sure a lot of you are too, so definitely, regardless of what difficulty you're playing, give agility a try with this update before they nerf it, because they will. I think the early game bows like the primitive bow, the wooden bow and the iron crossbow are actually in a decent place right now and I'd be really annoyed if they did something like reduce the accuracy or completely revert the damage increase. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed today's video be sure to leave a like and of course subscribe for more in-depth Alpha 20 guides like this in future and why not let me know if you're going to be trying an archery build in Alpha 20. As always thank you to my channel members for supporting the channel and continuing to help me make these videos. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.